Hi guys, it's Promise Sebastian here again. Okay guys, it's another wonderful Wednesday and trust you are doing great. Okay, I'm sure you must have seen something like this or something similar to this somewhere um, sometime, okay? So I felt to share with you guys this design part and how to create it here on Pizzle Lab. Okay guys, trust me, it's simple and we are going to be unraveling every technique and every design pattern that was uh, done here. Okay, um, if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscription button and the bell button as I drop awesome tutorials here every Wednesday night. Okay guys, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start by getting a blank page. So I'll head over to the background interface and then to the white and it's telling me if I tap the OK button and everything is gonna be lost. So I'm okay with it. So I'll just click OK and everything is lost now. So first of all, what I wanna do now is get my image from the background. So I'll use the plus button now from gallery and it's taking me to my gallery now where I'll get the image I used on the background so here over here is the image so I'll just tap on it right away and here it's on my background so I'll just click the good button and then with this slider below here I'll just slide to the extreme and then over to the shape interface so I'll use the resize tool to see whether it's 100 100 like this now 100 100 so I could see that it's 100 100 I'm good with it so I'll just click the good button up and then I'm going to use the relative position now, relative horizontal and relative vertical. So this is good, okay? So I'm just going to kill, click the good button up now. And then I'm going to head over to the um, layer to this, the layer. And then I'm going to lock this so I don't move it by mistake, okay? So guys, I have my image now. So what I want to do next is blend this image to the background. I don't need to add whatever effect I get to the background. I just need to reduce the opacity. So I'm going to reduce the opacity to just 10. Okay, so opacity of 10 is okay for me so i'll just get a shape with the plus button now shape and then head over to the gradient um to here this is the color this is the color for editing this shape now so you have where a space for your color you have color you have gradient now so i'll just head over to this these are color balls now so i'll just swipe to that of the gradient here this is the default gradient on pixel lab so you're gonna see it once you're on pixel lab so i'll use the plus button now this is a plus button and then I'm gonna use this uh, tool here, this third tool here. It's used to switch colors, so I'm just gonna tap it right away and it switched the color for me. So I will tap on this color place so that th that of the black here. So I'll just tap on it and use this color tool here. So that I just wipe to the extreme and I have a transparent color which I'm okay with now. So this is what I wanna achieve now. So I'll just take this to the extreme so that it doesn't just get close enough. You could see that this um, feathering color is getting close here so i just want here to be really really transparent okay beneath here and this is what i need now so i'll just leave this here and click good and i'm good with this i'll just copy this now this here copy again and then so i just copied one now which is here so i'll just lock this one and lock this one so i'll just move only one now by just tapping on this one so I'll move this one here and then I'm gonna check where this is and this also and this okay so this is somewhere here now so I'm just gonna tap on it now and use the position to to just move it right away so I'm just gonna move it with the position to to somewhere here and I'm gonna copy again and then lock this other one so for the sake of this one that was copied so this is somewhat confusing you don't know the colors and where they are so i'm just gonna move move okay i'm gonna move to get something symmetric so i'm gonna be moving all these shadows to get it balanced because it's not balanced now so i'm just gonna move it close close and this is it now so i'll just head over to the layer two and then tap on all those shadows so i'm tapping on them now use this second button now you see this one button below i just tap on it now and then use this one by my this tool now i'm touching Tap on it now and use this. It brings up this. This is the position tool now. It brings up for me just that I mark all the whole shadows now. So bringing this to the center, it's what I want to do and it's okay now. So I'm just going to lock this last one that wasn't locked. So I don't move them by mistake now. So something like this is perfect. 
so what you would want to do next now is get the shape for the image which is where the real work is okay that is where the real work is okay so i'll be teaching you guys various techniques to use um shape combination to get whatever shape that is not on puzzle lab okay so first of all get this shape i've taught this um pattern before on one of my tutorials i can't remember i've taught this pattern too but for the sake of creativity and growth i'm still gonna be teaching you this one i want to teach now so first of all for you to get shapes like that that like that of the poster now you would want to divide this circle to equal parts so you could uh, crop out or max out the part you want to use for the whole concept you get so what i mean by that is using the plus button now get getting a shape so you could get a rectangle shape something like this now let's draw it to the extreme and something like this and let's make it a little tinier so something like this is perfect so i will use relative position to bring it to the center i'm not a computer so i don't know when it's at the center like very much centered so i will just copy again and then rotate to the right so i'm just gonna rotate now and make sure it's at angle 90 that is it's horizontal so this is perfect i'm just gonna use the relative position again and relative horizontal and relative vertical so this is perfect now and i'm gonna click the good button ok again so i will just check whether this is my um circle i made it to the center so i think it wasn't made to the center so it's not at the center now the good button i just click now it's what we should click so this is good now so what i want to do next is um i want to divide this to eight equal parts because though the design you saw was divided into eight so this is four right now so you could do with this four but it won't give you that perfect feel you are looking for so let's just copy another um line now so we want to lock these ones now so we don't move by mistake again so let's just lock this lock this and lock this and just leave this one that is left now so this is the one that is left i'm just gonna draw it to the center and um to divide this now we need an angle 45 to divide angle 90. you all did mathematics so i'm sure you 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 you, you know what i'm talking about you must have encountered them um, trigonometry so this is angle at angle 45 so we we'll use relative position again and trust me this relative position is going to bring it straight to the center so it's at the center now so what you want to do now is copy this guy again and use the um rotate to and then minus minus 45 so we'll rotate to minus 45 now and we will use the relative position tool again to the center and this is perfect okay we've successfully divided this um circle into eight equal parts now so what you want to do now is match the whole um shapes the whole lines with the circle so we are just gonna mark mark we'll just click the layer tool now and then we'll use this button below tap on it now it brings up boxes by the right so you just mark the boxes each and each after each so we'll just after marking them now then you use this tool now below this third tool before the one that um, is used for marking so you just click on it now it's, it's saying that are you sure you want to match i'm definitely sure and okay that i want to match them so i'm just gonna click okay right away and it's merging and i'm good now it's merged already so guys what we want to do now is erase the white so we'll head over to the erase to erase to and on automatically it's gonna erase just white so once you have white on whatever it is you have white on if you just tap erase to this erase to now you just tap on it and on it it will erase automatically white so it has erased the white i have now so what would you do you could max this thing out you could just use the max to and then max um the side you want to max or let me just cancel or you could just use the eraser tool now and then on is it really well i don't need the shadow that is is there on the eraser tool now I'm just gonna erase okay I think I erased too much so be careful so you just erase the one so since you have the white stuff demarcating them so you should just be careful on the one you erase it so let's just leave this this other one now oh my god we just mistakenly erase this one so let's just erase this other one and So I'm just gonna remove the handle so I could erase all these ones here and here. So we have these ones now. You just click OK 
so you see something like this is good now so for you to get this exact now you would want to crop so you use the crop tool and just crop the exact one you erased now so you don't have uh, much stuff there so you look at it now we'll have the one we raised now so with this technique you could get this circle now so watch what is gonna happen so let me just head over to my texture tool now texture and then to my gallery it's taking me to my gallery where i'm gonna bring up the image i want to add as texture so let me just click one image here now and it's up now on my background i'll just click good now so you see what is happening to this image is not gonna look as i want it you get what you want to do now is uh, just click ok and head over to this this last background interface you know we have two background interface this first one and the last one now head over to image resize you see and therefore the image resize is one that is 1280 1280 that's our default size of this image um this image size now but what you want to do now is click on the image size change it to 6000 6000 that's a, a very high peso enough for you to merge whatever it is at that quality and it will be very clear and okay you get what i'm doing now if we leave it at 6000 6000 it will be really high that even higher than the peso lab version like peso lab ultra if you save stuff on peso lab ultra is at this lab ultra is at uh, i think three thousand something but this one is six thousand so it's very high so it will give us something really bright okay so we are going to be merging a lot of stuff now so what i want to do now i will just remove this texture now i'll just remove this texture now and then i'm gonna make this thing uh, centered like this so somewhere like this now so i'll just use the plus button get a shape now make sure the shape covers this now I'll just click OK and just and then head over to my resize and resize and check whether it's 100, 100. This is 100, 100. It's OK now. I'll just use the relative position relative to the um, horizontal and relative vertical. So this is perfect now. So what I want to do now is just click the good button up and I'm good. So I will take this to the back now. This is the uh, rectangle uh, square shape I brought it now. So I'll take it to the back so I could see this one now. So what I want to do next is merge these two shapes now. So watch what I'm just doing calmly. So just tap on this this on this layer and this middle this tool now. So we mark the bosses. This is the two bosses we want to merge. I'm marking it now. So I'll just click on this third button now and it's telling me to merge. I'm um, okay. So it's merged, it has merged them now. So what I want to do now, use the erase tool, erase color tool now. This is the erase color tool. Tap on it on the shape interface. And on it now, on default is erasing the white, but I don't want to erase the white, I want to erase the red. So I'll just use this soccer look I like tool now and then tap on it now and then place this um more like color soccer on this red and then i'm gonna click this good button right here and it's erasing the red okay you see the red is out now so for you to erase well you would want to increase the tolerance or just leave it as that then and then change the color of this shape now to pure white change the color to white after erasing just change the color to white so that to white so you don't have those line stuff on your design you see I have something perfect now so i'll just click good button now and uh, i'm gonna keep this um here now and then lock it and make it invisible now so what i want to do now is get my image now since i have something like this now so watch closely what i'm gonna be doing with the image okay next is plus from gallery and i'm bringing one of the images now so i'll just tap from any i have here let me just click this one now it's up here on my puzzle lab i'll just click the good button then resize to keep it somewhere here now then i'll just head over to this layer and you see this shape i just created i will use the copy tool now on this shape interface now look at the copy tool tap on it now i just tapped on it so it copies it for me now so i will lock this one or leave it on now so with this now i could play around with this to any um i could play around with this now you see it has given me a, enough freedom to work on this and maneuver i could even change the um the other image and you know do a whole lot of stuff i could rotate this now and still um you see 
I could still do a whole lot of stuff and you know with this pattern now you could get any um, uh, uh, dimension any alignment you want this image to be with this um, placeholder now or, or with this shape now you get so this is just the trick there okay so I, I changed the texture of um, in the design we saw there so I would want to change the texture before I proceed with um, merging them now so I'll just head over to the um, color filter tool here on the shape interface so I'll just tap on the color filter tool and then i'm gonna reduce the saturation to 100 and then brightness to minus five brightness of minus five and then contrast of um just five okay so this is it saturation minus 100 brightness minus five contrast five so we just click the good button up now and i want to increase this image a little bit it's, it's looking small so I'll just increase it a little bit and then use the move button and then move so it gets the head really well and um i think like this i'm good right i'm definitely good now so i want to rotate the, the other shape this other shape now so i just want to rotate it to somewhere here to a zero angle i don't want to start giving it angle let's start from zero first so this is zero now and this is perfect so i'm just gonna merge the two of them now so i'll just tap on the two of them and use the merge tool and then it's merged now so you just use the erase tool now and then erase the white you see it automatically erases it so when merging image and shapes make sure to reduce the tolerance to zero so it doesn't re remove the color of the image so if i increase this tolerance now even though it's 10 it will remove the white in the image but if you reduce it to zero it's not gonna touch whatever color that is in the image it's just removing the color outside okay so this is it now so you could crop this out to um to remove excess space so you could just crop out or you could leave it if you want to work that way but i love working um um, clean okay I love everything looking well and okay so this is perfect now so this is the trick now I'm just gonna try another one so you guys get it and I'm gonna vom okay so let me just um, duplicate our shape again to the front and then lock this guy I'm from gallery I'll just head over to gallery to bring another shape now okay I'm in my gallery now so I'll just do, I'm just gonna tap on this other shape now I'm just gonna tap on this other shape now and it's right here on Pixel Lab so I will use the um I would want to crop out some places because the shape is really really big so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna crop out the face now so I'll click the good button below now and I'm okay with this shape so I'll just take it at the back I'll take it to the back now so with this arrangement I would want to I told you guys I I added some effect some effect on the other one so I'm just going to add some effect on this one also saturation 100 brightness minus 5 and contrast 5 so just the same way um contrast of 5 just keep it contrast of 5 so I have a contrast of 5 now and I'm going to rotate this now so i'll take this guy to the back so i see what i'm doing now so this guy is gonna stay at the back now so i i will see the dimension of this other one now so mind you the one the image uh, that has the opening that has the red opening now always is at the front of the image so the image the main image you, you want to crop it is at the back and this one is at the front now so look at what i have now so i would want to rotate this one now this is the other one we did this one now so it's locked now it's locked here now so this is the new one we are trying to create now so i'll just rotate this guy now rotate to like get the exact angle that is balanced with this other one now so everything needs to be balanced with this one so i'll get the rotate now okay i think this is good now so i'll, I'll move the image image a little here and a little up So I think this is good now. So I, I would want to move the image together, the two of them. So this is perfect. You see, you could maneuver a whole lot of stuff. So let me just make it right away. So 
so guys it's merged now so what i want to do now use the erase tool now erase the white color on automatic erase so remove reduce the tolerance from 10 to 0 okay so it doesn't remove the white that is in the image so if you leave it on 10 or whatever amount it's gonna touch the white that is in the image so keep it at 0 and then you click the good button so you would want to crop I told you guys to remove excess space so just crop or you could leave it that way depending me I always want my work to be okay and uh, mature okay like I said plain so something like this is perfect so keep it this way okay so this is the way okay you just do and you rotate right away okay i'm gonna try another one again so you guys don't get complete it doesn't get complicated i'm gonna try another one and then i'm gonna zoom so from plus button and i'm heading over to gallery to get an image i'm gonna use for the um cropping so i'll just tap on one of these now so it's right here on Pezzo Lab. I'll just click OK and this is here. So from the one, this is the image here. So I'll just duplicate it. I just copied it here with this copy tool now. And it's now at the front now. So I'll just take it to the back. This first one or whatever or image, anyone you want to take to the back first. Just keep them at the back. So you will be seeing the arrangement of these other circles now. So you know as you are rotating this other one so i want to start rotating to see how it's aligned now so i'm rotating this new one i just brought so i will move and then i'm gonna rotate the image is at the back mind you the image the image is at the back of the shape so the shape is covering the image so it's just the trick there so i just have the shape i'm just gonna move the shape a little now So I think the shape is the my face is really showing on this one well. So I'm just gonna rotate this one um, a little bit. So that is how I'm gonna be rotating it to like get the exact angle I'm looking for. So I'm marking the two of them, the image and the cropping shape together. So we we'll just move to so we'll get something okay. Okay, so this is good now. Okay, I'm just gonna mark again so I'll get it close enough. Okay, this is good now. So the image is what I'm gonna be moving this time. So it's 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 a, as I want it to be balanced. I want it to show the face, the smiling face. Ah, uh, I don't know whether your face is like this. Okay, it should be like this often because we always have to smile even though um, uh, we don't see reason to. So I'm going to reduce the saturation to minus 100, brightness to minus 5, as usual. Minus 5. So brightness to minus 5, as usual. And contrast of 5. So a contrast of five you see it now so i will just merge the two of them as usual so i'll mark the two of them now with it so with the third two here now just tap on it and then merge the two of them okay guys so you see it's merged now so i'll just use the erase tool now and then erase the white and like i said earlier reduce the tolerance to zero and then you crop out the XX space that is always coming out after erasing whatever color due to our this thing now. So I'm just gonna resize now. Okay, at this junction, creating this will not be hard for you. So I'm just gonna zoom. You know what I mean by zoom, okay? So I'm gonna zoom now.
सो गाइज सो गाइज फाइनली वी आर एक्चुअली डन विथ द अरेंजमेंट ओके वॉट इज लेफ्ट नाइज फॉर मी टू एड द येलो शेप बिनीथ यू ओके सो गाइज यू कुड प्ले अराउंड विथ दिस दस द जॉय and the um the fun in these designs okay you mustn't actually be the the same way i did my own so you could uh, rearrange you could see the one i did wasn't the exact one i did on the uh, uh design there so you could play around with this change your own pattern make some big and make your own small different okay so what i want to do now is get a shape um this time around i wouldn't bother creating a shape i will just get, uh, go back to this shape menu here I'll just tap on it now and then i'm gonna tap on this triangle now so i'm just gonna resize it really small so it can it enters this place i want to fix it in okay so the color i have the color i'm gonna choose is a color here is a default color here on pixel lab so you don't have to bother about the color it's here on pixel lab already so i'll just have to move this guy move this guy somewhere here and then i'm gonna rotate to it fits in so i think this angle is okay now so i'm going to use the position tool now this is the position to there so what i want to do now just use my position tool now to move and move and then i'm going to rotate it again till it laps really well so i'm on rotating 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 so i'm just going to move down move left move up okay we want to rotate this just a little a little and we are okay okay so i think this is good now but uh the size of this the length sorry is too long so we want to resize it now we want to resize it and then we, we increase the width i just resize the height and increase the width so one or resize again this one to this time around this together okay i'm just resizing and moving and rotating okay so guys this is it okay you could play around with this there's a lot you can achieve okay there's fun and on all of this design okay just make sure you have fun replicating or redesigning yours okay so i'm just gonna mark the whole design this red one is the one we used to create in this one remember the first design so i'm just gonna mark this black one so you don't have to get confused on each one you want to move because looking at them you already know what um the one they are from their angles so i'm just marking all of them them now so i'll just use this um button here just beside this um the lead look alike button just tap on it now it brings up this uh, position to here which i have on a uh, shape interface so i'll just tap on the position to now and then make sure this is um centered so i'll just move left okay perfect now so what is left is for me to bring in my image so from my gallery i'm gonna bring in my image now So I'm in my gallery now and it's loading. I'm just gonna tap on the image right away. So this is the image and uh it's loading, it's coming up on Pixel Lab, it's coming up. Okay, so here is the image now. So I wouldn't wanna crop or I wouldn't wanna crop anything for now. Let me just click OK, the good button below now. So I'll just use this drawer to increase it and see the size now. So now I would wanna crop or just leave it. So to make work neat, so Let's just crop out the side we know will not be taken. So from here is okay. So we just click the good button below and this is good. So we increase a little and then this is perfect now. This is perfect. Make sure your head is at the center of where these circles are dispersing from. So this is perfect now. So what I want to do now is the same process now. We are going to reduce the saturation to 10. Reduce the saturation to 10. Right. Saturation of minus 10. And then brightness. Brightness minus 5. And then a contrast of 5. 
okay so this is perfect for tuning the image so i'm just gonna lock the image now and the image is locked now so i'm gonna add some shadows to this image to make it look more realistic so look at the shadow tool here on the shape interface so i'm just gonna i'm i'm just gonna tap on the shadow tool now and on it right away so it adds its own though for uh, shadow arrangement but i'm gonna change almost everything so i'll use this plus button beside these color balls now just tap on it now it brings up the color and i'm gonna reduce the opacity of this color to almost extreme somewhere here uh, is good so after this now just click the good button below now and you are good now so offset x just five offset x just five just five and increase the blur reduce to just 15. okay so this is perfect now you could include increase the shadow and and walk around to your own test so for the sake of this tutorial we're gonna leave this um at this shadow amount so i'm just gonna lock a whole lot of stuff now so i don't move any of them by mistake so i think almost everything here is locked now so what i want to do now is type my happy now so i'm just gonna bring in a ship now plus um ship so i'm just gonna resize this now resize this so i'll click ok now i could use bezier to get the um happy ship now so but i'm gonna teach you guys a trick now so we which we are gonna use to get the happy shape now so what you want to do now just get a shape now so you could change to whatever color so let's just change to red and then we will rotate this a little bit now somewhere here an angle of um just an angle of just 10 or 9 so you place it somewhere here this is on way here and then click ok and then copy again and the same triangle place it somewhere here and then you match these uh, three shapes together okay they are merged now so what you want to do now erase the red color so use the erase tool now tap on the erase tool on the erase tool now it erases white automatically as i told you guys earlier so just use the um soccer lookalike icon just tap on it and then move this um this uh, handler here to th that of the color you want to erase so i want to erase red so i'm just moving it on red now and then I'll, i'm gonna put good now and it raises the red for me so i could increase the tolerance or just leave it as 10 so 10 is okay i'll just click the good button up now like i said earlier do crop to remove excess um space so i'm just gonna crop to remove excess space so somewhere like this is okay so i'll just change the color to the color there so no need for us to start um typing color code because we'll have the color here already on pixel lab as the default color now so this is the color here so it's on pixel lab already so look at the color so for the sake of people that love color code so this is the color code here ffci07 so i think this is good now so i'm just gonna resize this resize and then rotate a little bit now so i'm just gonna place it somewhere here and i'm gonna move this my image so it doesn't obstruct this now so move so this my image looks as if it's real big so we'll just reduce a little so we'll have some space where we are gonna type some stuffs now because we'll have the happy and the birthday So I'll keep moving and moving and I think here, let me just move a little left. So here is good now. So I'll just rotate this uh, the more, resize it the more and then rotate it a little bit. Okay, five is just perfect. So I'm just going to use the position tool now and then move left and then move down a little and up a little. So. I'm gonna get my happy text now so i'll use the plus button um text now it brings up new text so i'll just double tap on this now double tap on this now so i'm just gonna type in happy happy i'll, I'll click the ok button and head over to font and then my font to here now then recent font because i must have used this font here so i'm just gonna have it somewhere around here now so since i don't have the font there i'll just head over to my font library here so i think the font there was semi bold semi bold italic font that was the font used there so the color there is pure black so i have a pure black color here let me check to 
to confirm so it's pure black so we'll click the good button up now and i'm then i'm gonna resize it so it fits into the placeholder there so i'm just gonna use the position to now to bring down this happy till it gets to the place that i want to i want it to be on so i'm positioning this now so we'll rotate this happy to the same angle of five minus five we did rotate these other ones so an angle of minus five So minus five i'm just gonna bring it down a little bit so this is good now so i'll copy this happy text and then use the edit um tool now i'm just gonna delete the happy i think i have birthday in my clipboard here so i'll just type in birthday now from my clipboard and then i'll, I'll click ok i have birthday already i'll bring it beneath here and then head over to font two i'm on in alphabet interface so i'll just head over to font two now and then to recent because i must have used the font already so just recent and the font name is pacifico okay so i'm gonna share you guys this font i think it's already there but if it's not there i'm gonna share with you guys and the image you guys don't need my image okay so just take your own image as the image there and do the birthday design okay so i'm just gonna retext this is not gonna this birthday is not gonna be in the same angle it's gonna be straight so angle is zero and uh it's perfect now so we'll just keep it here and then i'm gonna move it up a little so everything is balanced now so we'll bring it down a little more okay so this is perfect so this is perfect we'll move left a little more now okay so this is perfect now so what is left is my name and some other stuffs okay so um i'm gonna type in my name so i'll just copy from happy copy so i'll use the edit, delete the happy now and then for my clipboard i have my name from mr Basson already there so i'll click ok and then i'm gonna uh, refresh from the root text this is the root text tool here i'm just gonna refresh and everything turns back to normal now and then i think i own the masking tool on this so i'll just off it now so I'll, I'll then go over to font the font i used there was bold for promise and semi bold for uh, sebastian so you just semi bold first and then I'm, i'll use this blue icon covering promise and sebastian i'll just cover only promise and then tap on the bold font it changes promise to bold now so i'll just resize this my name a little more probably to 16 and then i'm going to reduce the spacing of the text a person of uh, minus three okay let's leave it as minus two for the sake of um, this tutorial okay so i don't move again and again and again before i get the minus two so i'll just copy this and then use the edit tool and then delete this now so i'm just gonna type in the text i have here a little the text i wrote so bring it down here go over to font recent font and the font i used there was um olivia sans light so i'll just bring it here over here now so over here now so i'm gonna resize really well i'm just gonna resize and resize and resize so i get what i'm looking for so the text has to be minute really well So we are just now to so it's aligned now. So we'll move the two text from mix and the paragraph text there. We'll move them up a little because we are still gonna type in uh, the dates there. So we we'll have to move up, 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 up. So I'll just get a shape now. I think this is good now. I get a shape to place beneath the promise. So somewhere here, and I'm gonna change the color to this our yellow color. And then i'm gonna resize over to the shape interface now we are on the shape interface before so i'll off this this is resize to now once i tap on it now let me off this layer i'm gonna off this now this means often this means often um so that it doesn't uh, resize them simultaneously so it's just resizing only with 
or just only height so i'll just resize only the width because i just off that now so i'll click the good button and use position tool now this is the position tool and then i'm gonna be bringing that bringing it down so it gets to the sebastian so i'll take it to the back of the promise sebastian so i'll just move and move and move and move and that uh, this is perfect now so i'll bring down the uh the paragraph text a little more and then um i'll get a shape now for the a shape for the date so i'll just resize this now resize resize and then i'm gonna it's really small now it's minute so i i, I don't want to resize with my hand so i'm using the resize tool here on the shape interface now so I'll just use it and resize so something like this is good now so let's use the position to to bring it down 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 so somewhere here and I move left okay move left left till it's aligned now okay so I would want to change the color to black so I'm seeing what I'm moving so let's just leave the color on black now so this is the color now so I want to move this Promise Sebastian and paragraph text a little uh, bit up. So I'm marking promise, marking the paragraph text and marking the uh, rectangle with me. So I'm clicking this uh, second circle, the icon beneath this delete lookalike icon. So I'll use the position tool here on the marking uh, team now. So I just moved it up once now, just moved down. And then I'm gonna bring these dates, um, these dates more down. And I think somewhere here is perfect now. So um, let me just move it up once more. Okay, so this is perfect now. Okay, I think I, I created something on the ship now. So let me get the ship first. Head over to the ship, uh, other ships now. So I'll just change to circle now. And then resize. I think I did some kind of effect on the ships. So let me just change this to yellow. Or even though it's white, it still doesn't change anything. As far as it's different from that black as far as it's contrasting from the black there so we'll bring we we'll bring it down 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 there and then we'll merge the two of them we'll merge the two of the shape imagine them now so we we'll erase the we we'll erase erase the yellow color there so I'll just erase the yellow and then I have the shape I created now. So now I'm gonna copy my promise text now over to alphabet interface, copy, and then bring it beneath here. Use the edit to delete these stuffs now, and then type in the date, which is my birth date now. So this is July 7th. Okay, that's my uh, my birth date. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring, bring, and then move it. And then I'm going to change the color to white. So the color is on white now. So I'm going to resize this now till it, it's fitting in. Then I, I'll change the font. So the font I used on it is a bold font. So we'll head over to our recent font. Olivia, Olivia sounds bold. And then we increase the size of the font till it's lapping in there. Okay, we'll move left the more I think or move down okay 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 this is perfect now so what is left for me to make little adjustment now which I will be doing right away now so guys um if you uh, if you observe the first flyer initial flyer that i brought in before we started this tutorial you're gonna see that that was a grunge effect on the design so i'm gonna be bringing the grunge effect right away so use the plus button from gallery to the grunge effect so over to So guys, I'm going to do, be doing some little adjustment now. So I'm going to be starting from the image, from my image now. So I'm going to move this, my image, a little left. A little left. I 
and then if you look closely on on the first design i shared you would see that um there was a grunge effect on the design which is not on this one so we use the plus button and then we'll head over to the gallery so we could get the grunge effect and add it right away so this is the grunge effect here so i just tapped on it it's on my um pencil lab already so we we'll use the square uh, dimension to crop in uh, the to crop in a square dimension from the image yeah. so this is it now just click good button below and then adjust from this uh, slide that here below so it gets 200 so i'll use the resize tool on the shape interface now so it's 100 100 and then i'm gonna use the relative position relative horizontal relative vertical so i would want to send this to the back now so i'm, I'm gonna use this uh, send to back to on the shape interface it's also it should also be on the alphabet interface now so it's at the back now so what i want to do now is reduce the opacity so it's blending really well so the opacity of 30 it's good so opacity of 30 is perfect so i'll just lock it so i don't move it by mistake now so if you look closely you could see that that of the yellow shape we added below is not showing so we need it to show it adds aesthetics to the design so what we want to do now is um we are going to be moving these ships now. I think I'll start from this one now. So, an angle of 22 is best. So, we'll bring it down now to the left and down okay guys we killed it we did it we did it we did it okay so guys for the sake of this tutorial what to uh, cut down some stuff so you could work on many stuff you can increase the size of the birthday you get you could increase the size of the birthday and the size of the happy you could walk around the whole lot of stuff you could even change your own dimension okay the design is really really interesting okay okay thanks for watching this awesome tutorial okay if you're new to this channel make sure to hit the subscription button as i share awesome tutorials here every wednesday night okay guys um do share with your friends as you're not the only one to benefit and don't forget keep creating